Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at Mavis and how to use it in conjunction with Mother32, DFAM, and Subharmonicon. We'll start with Mother32. I've already input a sequence into Mother32 and we'll use that to sequence both Mother32 and Mavis at the same time. Start by patching the keyboard output of Mother32 to the volt per octave input of Mavis. This will send the note information from Mother32 to Mavis's oscillator. Next, patch the gate output of Mother32 to the gate input of Mavis. And finally, patch the VCO output of Mavis to the external audio input of Mother32. That way we can use the Mother32 mix knob to mix between the Mother32 VCO and the Mavis VCO. Setting the mix knob in the middle allows us to tune Mavis and Mother32 in tandem. And now when I run the Mother32 sequence, they'll play together. Mavis. Mother32. I can also instead take the VCA output instead of the VCO output and have all of Mavis running into the Mother32 so that we can use Mavis's filter as well. By connecting Mother32 and Mavis together, we have a two oscillator synthesizer with independent filters and amplifiers. Next, we'll look at playing Mavis and DFAM together. We'll start by patching the trigger output of DFAM to the gate input of Mavis and the VCA output of Mavis into the external audio input on DFAM. This way we'll be able to use the noise slash external level input of DFAM's mixer to control the level of Mavis relative to DFAM's two oscillators. We'll start with Mavis all the way down and then bring it up. We can also use either of DFAM's sequencer rows, the pitch or velocity row, to sequence Mavis's VCO by patching either of the outputs, let's say the pitch output, to Mavis's volt per octave input. Now when we press play, the pitch row will sequence Mavis. Using DFAM and Mavis together like this, we can use DFAM as a drum machine and Mavis to program accompanying bass lines, leads, or whatever else we might like. Finally, we'll look at playing Mavis and Subharmonicon together. As opposed to the previous two videos where we took the audio coming out of Mother and DFAM respectively, in this video we'll take the audio coming out of Mavis. Subharmonicon has two sequencers, so we'll use the first sequencer to sequence Subharmonicon and we'll use the second sequencer to sequence Mavis. We'll start by taking the Subharmonicon Sequencer 2 clock and patch that to the Mavis gate input. This will tie Subharmonicon and Mavis together rhythmically. Next, we'll mix them together using Mavis's mixer. We'll take the Subharmonicon VCA output and go into the 2 input of Mavis's mixer. We'll take Mavis's VCO output into the one input of Mavis's mixer, and we'll take the one plus two output and patch that into the fold input on Mavis. That way we'll use the one level to adjust the volume of Mavis's VCO, and we'll use the subharmonicon volume knob to adjust the level of subharmonicon. Next, we'll tune subharmonicon and Mavis's VCOs together. To start, we'll disconnect sequencer one from oscillator one, We'll turn Mavis's VCA mode to on, and we'll press trigger on subharmonicon to start to audition a note. We'll use the one level knob to bring in Mavis, 
and we can use the pitch knob. to pitch them together. Finally, we'll route the sequencers. We'll route sequencer 1 to the subharmonicon by pressing the oscillator 1 button under sequencer 1 assign. And we'll route sequencer 2 to Mavis by taking a patch cable and patching the sequencer 2 output to the volt per octave input on Mavis. Now if we turn down the one level knob, which is the strength of Mavis's VCO, and press play, we'll start by hearing subharmonicon. And we can even fold the subharmonicon. And then we can bring in Mavis. Like with the previous combinations, by playing subharmonicon and Mavis together, we get an instrument that is far greater than the sum of its parts.